Hey there. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw the Incredible Hulk. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the eyes. We'll start in the middle, okay? So with this frown line, we're just going to draw a simple curve that goes up, okay? And on the other side, we'll do the exact same thing. So it kind of tapers in towards each other, all right? And then let's go to the right side here. I'm going to draw a little straight line across from that point, And then I'm going to draw a curve, which will become his brow. And then above this brow, I'm going to thicken up the ends, okay? So as I go outwards, I'm just going to taper out and create a little point, just like that. All right? And then below that eyebrow is basically a semicircle for his eye. So I'll go in with a very thin curve, just like that, for his eye. And then his pupil is going to do a little dot at the top edge. All right, now let's move to the other side. And here I'm going to do the opposite thing. I'm going to do outward, upward curve, going up, okay? And then from this point, I'm going to curve into it just like that. And then from this point, I'm going to draw a straight, almost like a downward curve, and then color that in. All right? And then below that, I'm going to do the se exact same thing for the eye, which is a semicircle. goes just below it. I just want to kind of create a thin line for the bottom of the lid. And above there, I'm going to draw a small dot for his pupil. All right? So there's his eyes. Now let's go into his nose. So just in between his eyes, there's a little bit of a frown line. So two lines that sort of point in towards each other. Okay, slightly downwards. Okay, I'm going to move down a little bit to the tip of his nose and I'm going to draw a little straight line across. Okay, so that's the tip of his nose. I'm going to come up in an angle on both sides. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a straight line across, very short straight lines on either side, just like that. And then from here, I'm going to curl up like little hooks. All right? And from this point, I'm going to draw his frown line or his grin line. So it'll come down and curve downwards. Okay? So out and down. Out and down. All right? And then below that nose, I'm just going to draw a little bit of a divot. A straight line. Very thin. Okay? Now let's go into his mouth. So the top edge of his mouth, it looks like a smile, but it's actually not a smile. It's, it's part of his, his frown, so let's draw a curve that goes slightly upwards like that. Okay? And on either side, on this side here, I'm going to draw a line that comes down, and then this one that comes down as well. Okay? Equal distance. And then from this point, I'm going to do an upward curve like so, for the bottom edge of his lip. Okay? And then for his teeth, what I'd like to do is I create a line on either side and color it in dark, okay? Now, I'm going to draw a line, a very short line on either side, very short, and on the upper teeth, I'm just going to draw in or color in just a little bit more, so it looks like the bottom, he's got sort of like an underbite, okay? And then under his lip here is a little curve, and it'll curl up on either side just a little bit, so it sort of indicates his bottom lip. All right, so there's his general face area. Let's get into his cheeks. So from here, just below, on the other side of the, uh, on the one side of the eyebrow, I'm going to create sort of a curve in towards his nose. And then I'm going to come straight down for his cheek, okay? Let's do the same thing for this side. So curve in, and I'll come straight down just to kind of enhance those cheekbones, okay? Now from here, I'm going to come down, go further out slightly. I'm going to do a line that goes straight down on either side. Okay, maybe you want to kind of point it outwards a little bit. Let's go to this side here. I'm going to curl in towards that bottom part of the mouth. I'll do the exact same for this side here. All right. And then I'm going to curl back out. Just kind of like that. All right. And this is where his jaw, or sorry, his chin will go. So I'll do a slightly curved line under his chin and I'm going to draw in his earlobes, very simple earlobes, I'm going to just do a curl up on either side, just like that. All right, and let's go and do his hair, so his hair is really mussy, so start from this point in the, hair, in the head, I'm going to curl up above that eye, I'll come back down, and we'll just sort of do a series of jagged points, okay, just like this, make some a little bit longer than others. And then here, I'm just going to come down and connect it to that point just beside the ear. And then from here, this point here, I'm going to come up. 
I'm going to come out a little bit and I'll go back up. So I'm going to create a few more jagged points as I go up above his head. Don't have to do too many. And then from this point I'm going to go the opposite way. I'll create one on this side, go down, and I'll connect back into that point there. And so here you can go in and color the hair or you can um, color it in black or you can go in and color it in dark green. Okay? So let's go into the body. So his back shoulder, so his trapezius, we'll do a curve that kind of curls down on both sides, just like that. Okay, from here I'm going to start on the left side. I'm going to work my way down to the fist and I'll go back to the other side. So let's do his shoulder. So this is an overlap. So here, I'm just going to do generally a round form and stop right about there. Okay, so that's his big shoulder muscle. I'll kind of continue on in towards his chest because his arm is going to be sort of tucked behind his body. Okay, let's do an overlap here. So his chest is sort of divided into two sections, the upper chest and then the lower chest. So here's the part of the upper chest and I'll come down about halfway and I'll do his bottom chest just like that. Okay, and from this point I'm going to draw a line from here up to his chin. Okay, so this chest gets tucked in under his chin. And then just by his jaw here, I'm going to do a curve that goes downwards. And I'll just do a little accent line right here. Okay? Let's move to the other side here. Let's do his upper pec under his jaw. And then by this ear, I'm just going to draw a line just down to indicate part of his neck. Okay, so there his, his upper body. Let's go into his arms. So his bicep is sort of tucked in behind the shoulder, but his forearm will poke out. So from here, I'm just going to do a curl like that. And I'll curl on the other side. So that's the thickness of his forearm. And then I'll kind of make two lines leading up towards his fist. Just like that. Uh, let's go in and draw his knuckles. So here, I'm going to do an overlap here. I'll do a curve like that. Okay. And then for his first knuckle, I'll draw the line out. And I'll do a slightly straight, with a slight curve for his first knuckle. Come straight across. Come down. Okay. And from here, I'm just going to tuck that first knuckle in. And I'll draw a line here just to give it some form. And I'll just do a little overlap there. Okay, so that's his first knuckle here. Okay. Let's tuck in. Oops, did I move that board? Let's tuck in the second one. So I'll just move down a little bit. And I'll do almost the exact same thing that I did in this fist here. So go straight across. I'll come down. Okay. Uh, I'll do an overlap, so just a little bit of form on the on that knuckle there. Let's start into his thumb, so uh, because the thumb will sort of overlap on top of the rest of the fingers here. So I'm just going to do a simple thumb. So I'm just going to do a curl from that point. I'm going to do a curl here, like that. And then I'll go into the back of the meat of his thumb, okay? And I'll do a little bit of a, a couple lines here just to sort of enhance that shape, okay? Now we can go back and complete the knuckle. Okay, so there's another finger. I'm doing exactly the same thing I did with the other fists, or the other fingers. I'm just repeating across, okay? And then the back part of the fist here will sort of just be a simple curve just like that. Okay, so there's his fist, his arm. Let's move to the other side. So here, because this shoulder is in front of the chest, I'm going to do an overlap line just like that, okay? And then from this point, I'll move back a little bit and do the back of his bicep or the back of his arm. Okay. And here, shoulders are kind of like a circle, so I'm just going to draw a bit of a, a shape just to enhance that front part of the shoulder. Okay. And like I have here, the top part of the chest, I'll just create a little line just to indicate that. Let's go into the bicep, so I'll do a round for his bicep. Okay. Now this is where his fist will be, this is his forearm. So I'll sort of draw in part of the form just like that, okay? It's coming across, so here's his, here's his bicep, and then his form to his fist. I'll draw a line here just to indicate, just to enhance that bicep there. Now let's get into the, to the hand, okay? So here, I'm just going to draw a line like this, okay? This is the beginning of his thumb. Okay, curve. And there's the first sort of part of his knuckle over his thumb. I'll curve up and down. Okay? Let's draw the first fist knuckle. Okay, so 
come up, come across, come in, come out. Okay? That was a little bit tricky, but just keep practicing that. Okay, I just did a couple wrinkles just to show that the thumb and the fingers sort of wrap around each other. Okay, so I'll do it again. So here, the front of the knuckle, draw first sort of fold in the knuckle there. Okay, so there's the fist. Do it again. Okay. And then the pinky, fold into the knuckle, to the back of the fist. Okay, here I'm just going to and to complete that circle, so that round fist there, okay? We finish off that forearm. Then here, I'll do the bottom part of his uh, forearm into his elbow, just like this. And I'll kind of blend that into the bicep, or the back of the arm. Okay, so now I can go in and finish off that chest. So if I imagine this going back behind that knuckle, that, finishing off the chest, let's do his rib cage. So a curve, and a curve for stomach, into that fist, and basically that's it. There we have it, there is the Hulk. Thanks for watching and please give us a like. See you soon.